right across the street from Prince Orchard High School is the Burno Pizza, where we came today to interview Chef Tony and learn more about Italian cuisines. How did you get into the restaurant business? We grew up outside of New Haven, in Connecticut. And he started working there um, as a dishwasher. And I was playing high school soccer and decided that that was not my role um, and did not not enjoy it. And so I ended up working there um, in that, that pizza place that I had gone to when I was a kid. So that's kind of how it all started from there. What mistakes have you made on the road to success and how has it kind of shaped who you are today? I mean, look, you're going to make mistakes along the way, right? That's how you, that's kind of how you learn. Um, we've been fortunate enough along the way to not make too many mistakes that have been, you know, uh, basically detrimental to, to our success, uh, whether it's, you know, here or any other thing that, that we've done along the way. You know, being smart about your decisions, you know, asking questions, you know, talking to people, um, people that have either experienced what you're going to do, um, and trying to get as much advice as you possibly can to eliminate those issues. Right? I mean, why did you choose a wood burning oven for pizza? So you have fire in there. You really can't control fire, right? If we have a stove, you can set it to be one, two, or three on electric or adjust the flame on where you're at. Here, we have to gauge based on the wood that we have, the heat that's already inside the oven, what the product coming out of the oven actually looks like, right? To decide that, hey, it's too hot, it's too cold, it's spot on, it's perfect. How can we duplicate that over and over and over again, right? So that's the essence of why we have a wood burning oven here. Why a dragonfly on the oven? So when you actually look at the oven, you're going to see three dragonflies. There's one in the front, and on the side as you walk by, you see the, uh, the window there, there are two smaller ones there. The two smaller ones on the side represent my two, my two sons, and then the one that's in the front is a representation of um, my mother-in-law who passed away, right? And so she thought that when she would return, she wanted to be a dragonfly. What's your favorite pizza on the menu? So when you look at, so here's what's interesting about the menu. When you look at the menu, right, everything that's on the menu is essentially the only thing that I will eat, right? There's a list of things that you won't eat, that they won't eat, right? So what you see is basically, but you don't see anchovies, I don't want anchovies, right? You guys probably might agree with that as well. And I also don't want to touch them either, you know? Don't like blue cheese, you're not going to find gorgons all over blue cheese on the menu. Same thing, I don't want to touch that either. Um, but what you see on the menu are things that, that I will eat. However, in that entire mix of food that's on the menu, there is a single pizza that is on the menu um, that is unique, that you're not going to find anywhere else. And it's something that we created um, in the backyard, of all things. Um, and that is the potato pizza that's on the menu. And that is the pizza that we created years ago and said if someday, whenever, something like this would ever happen, um, that will be on the menu from the moment we open to the moment that we close. And that is by far, for me, the most special pizza that's on the menu. After my interview with Chef Tony, I realized Inferno Pizza was much more than what others would just call another Italian restaurant. It embodied family traditions, an excellent dining service, and awesome pizza. Chef Tony's story of his father and grandfather's pizza recipes from Naples to Gaithersburg reflect the style and care that goes into each old world style pizza. By utilizing local fresh ingredients, a casual eating space, handcrafted dishware, rustic scenery, and the Neapolitan pizzas, Chef Tony creates an enjoyable atmosphere for all to enjoy.